everyone and welcome back to Waverly Reads. Today I'm going to be going through my TBR for this entire year, the year of 2019. Likelihood is I won't get to all of the books on my TBR as I didn't last year, but I always like to have a layout of 20 books that I want to read over the year. Five of them are rereads because I do like to do a few rereads over the course of the year. The rest are just books that I haven't yet read but definitely want to. So this year I have my TBR written down into my bullet journal and it is on this page here which I am very happy with the way this one actually turned out and I have the 15 books that aren't rereads and then I have five rereads down here. This shelf here is blank for any books that I want to add on to it as I read as in things like sequels and stuff like that so yeah I do have some space to add some more in or if I end up reading a book that I realised I really wanted to read for a, quite a while now I will add it in here whilst I'm reading it I'll be like oh yeah I probably should have read this a very long time ago I'll add it in there as well. So we're going through this TBR with you yeah, that's basically it I don't know if I'll be able to tell you what all of these books are about because some of them I want to go in blindly with and also I don't own all of them but for the most part, I should be able to. Also, these are in no particular order, I just kind of wrote them down as I thought of them. The first book is Restore Me by Tara Murphy. This is a tricky book to actually define because it's the fourth book in the Shatter Me series, but the Shatter Me series is actually a trilogy and this is just kind of an advanced series of that. So it takes place after the Shatter Me trilogy. So although it is the fourth book, it's also the first book in a new series. If that, I can't really tell you what this is about, but I can tell you what Shatter Me is about. A girl named Julia who has these, these, this gift, this power per se, where if she touches you, she can inflict immense pain on you. And if she doesn't let go quick enough, you could potentially die. It's basically her trying to learn to live with that whilst being in captivity by this guy named Warner who has to use her for his own like personal gain he used her power for bad basically and she's having to come to terms with her power and like get a grip on it and learn how to use it and yeah that's what that trilogy is about this is the fourth book in that trilogy because it's a trilogy it can't have a fourth book but the new book in the next series onto that the next book is what if it's us by becky albertalli and adam silvera this one i have signed with my name a dedication because i went to the signing for this book in birmingham i think and it's also really floppy which i love so this is a book written by two of my favorite lgbt authors based around a boy named arthur and a boy named ben eye contacts at a post office or something like that and then never see each other again but can't get the other two the other person off their minds i'm not entirely sure they did describe it at the book signing but i was just in so much awe that it just kind of didn't register in my brain but i really want to read it obviously i love adam silvera's writing as you all well know i haven't read a book by him that i don't like and obviously i like becky albert Halley's writing as well i've read simon versus and leah on the offbeat i did recently get the upside of unrequited as well um, so I will be really excited to read this and I really can't wait. It smells so good and it's signed and it's basically my baby. I didn't realise how long of a video this is going to be. <laughs> Next book is Hunted by Megan Spooner and this was on my TBR last year as well because it came out last year and I really really wanted to read it. In fact I wanted it so bad that I actually couldn't be bothered to wait for the paperback and got the hardback and I still haven't read it and I'm pretty sure the paperback comes out soon so. Could I have waited? Probably. Am I bothered? Not really. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and that's pretty much all I really know about it. The Beast is the Beast and Belle is a huntress and she's actually on a mission to go out and kill the Beast. So it's a very twisted version of Beauty and the Beast but I'm excited to read it and that's all I really know about it. So yeah, that's that's it, that's that. The next book is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. This is one of my favourite childhood horror movies horror movies that's really not that scary um that is based in this pet cemetery um where you go to bury your pets however the pet cemetery has a twist and if you bury something that's died there it comes back to life as this evil creation and yeah kind of terrifying to think about it's not actually that scary but i've wanted to read this for as long as i knew it was a book I recently rewatched the movie and i fell in love with it all over again and i just i really 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 want to read it the next book is everless by sarah holland this is again a very vague book that i don't know too much about but tia has read it tia was the whole reason i wanted to read it she pointed it out told me a bit about what it was about and i was like oh my god i want to buy that so i bought it tia's actually already read this um 
and said that I will probably obsess over it, which is why it's on this year's TBR and I am actually very intrigued and do want to read it. The next book is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This is kind of spelled self-explanatory as to why I want to read it. It's a vampire book. Everyone's read it. It's YA. I just need to get around to it. I actually have no idea what it's about either. I haven't seen the movie. I just know that I will probably really like it or really hate it depending on how, how it's written. We'll see. Um, but I presume that I'm going to like it, which is why I have the first two in the series, and it's just high time I got around to reading it. This one is The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. Again, this one is pretty much like what I said about Pet Cemetery. This is one of my favourite horror movies. It's really not that scary. I really love the story of The Woman in Black, and I know for a fact that I will really love the story of this book, because that's why the woman in black movie is a thing i can't do this i'm so stupid right now but yeah basically this is based around a man named arthur who has to go to this abandoned house where people have died and he has to sort through all the paperwork there but little does he know there is a ghost spirit of the woman in black there and the woman in black is this lady who has now taken away from her because she's not deemed fit to raise him um, and her sister raises him but the child dies in a freak accident and the woman kind of holds that grudge and she basically likes to kill children to take children for her own. If a person sees the woman then she has the power, she's deemed the power to kill children around them. And it's just, it sounds horrible but it's actually a really, really good concept and I really like the story. The ending is based on interpretation as well and I just really really like it next two books I don't actually have and that's Passenger by Alexandra Bracken and Autobiography Autobiography and I can't remember the author of that one either but basically Passenger I've been wanting to read for years anyway I love Alexandra's works on The Darkest Minds sure I will love Passenger and Autobiography is another LGBT book that I just feel like I need to experience and really want to read so that's those two. The next book is Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas. This is the third book in the... Do these even have a name? The Throne of Glass series and obviously again I can't tell you what this book is about also I don't really know what this book is about. Once I've read the first one I just kind of go with it. Honestly I don't know what I can tell you about the first one either because I have the second one in my head as well and I don't want to spoil so I'm not going to. Yeah this is the third book in the series and that's self explanatory as to why I want to read it because I've enjoyed the first two. The next book is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. I almost said Sarah J Mass again. This is Cassandra Clare. This is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series. Honestly I've already read this, I just read it. Um, from the time I'm reading this I've already read my first book on my immediate TBR which is great. It was a big chunky book and it ripped my soul to pieces. Yeah that's always fun. Ow. Moving on. Next book again I don't have but it's the third book in the Darkest Mind series which I believe is called in the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. Again, third book in a series, very self-explanatory as to why I want to read it because I read the first two, loved the first two, watched the first movie, you should definitely read them. Yeah, basically The Darkest Minds is about this girl who is an orange. It doesn't make sense, I can't explain these books, I just don't have the words to do so. Go watch it. Is that the easiest way to say it? I'll just read the blurb to you, that'll probably be easier. Ruby woke up on her 10th birthday, something about her had changed. Something frightening enough to make her parents lock her in the garage and call the police. Something that got her sent to Thurmond, a, brutally, a brutal government rehab, rehabilitation camp. She might have survived the mysterious disease that killed most of America's children, but she and the others have emerged with something far worse. Frightening abilities they could not control. Now 16, Ruby is one of the dangerous ones. When the truth comes out, Ruby barely escapes Thermond, Thermond with her life. She is on the run, desperate to find the only safe haven left for kids like her, East River. She joins a group of kids who have escaped their own camp. Liam, their brave leader, is falling hard for Ruby. But no matter how much she aches for him, Ruby can't risk getting close. Not after what happened to her parents. When they arrive at East River, nothing is as it seems, least of all its mysterious leader. But there are other forces at work, people who will stop at nothing to use Ruby in the fight against the government. Ruby will be faced with a terrible choice, one that may mean giving up her only chance at having a life worth living. Ooh, so good. Next book I want to read is this Lame Is From Stage to Screen memorial book. This is a stunning book that I got for Christmas and it has so many different like gadgets and gizmos and stuff in it that I really want to go through it and read it. It doesn't actually have an author I don't think. It says Benedict Nightingale and Martin Palmer forward by Cameron McIntosh so let's go with that. This is a big big memorial book 
and it basically goes through it's like Hamilton the Revolution basically and I want to read it at God of Christmas and it's stunning similarly to that I want to read the greatest showman stage to screen behind the scenes thing again another stunning book that I got for Christmas and yeah I just really want to read it because it's a great showman and I like that so and the last book I want to read that isn't a reread is All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Cassoulis. It is set in a world where basically every word is copyrighted and you have to pay to speak. That's all I know, but it sounds amazing and I definitely want to read it. And we're moving on to rereads and I'm not going to tell you what any of these are about because I've already read them before. I'm just going to go through them and... I'll tell you why I want to reread them. First one is A Legion by Veronica Roth. I want to reread this because it's the only book in the Divergent series that I haven't reread. And also, I really want to read Divergent again, but I've reread Divergent and Insurgent, so I need to reread Allegiant. It makes sense in my head, and that's my reason why. Next is New Moon for a very similar reason. Obviously, I've read the Twilight Saga multiple times before, but I reread Twilight last year, and I really want to reread the entire series again, so. I need to reread New Moon. This is kind of the one I tend to skip or skim read because I'm not a big fan of New Moon. I don't really connect with the Wolves of Twilight, but I am determined to reread this without skim reading it and get through it. The next reread I don't own again, and that's Unspeakable by Abby Rushton. This is a book that I read in the first booktube that I took part in. It's an LGBT book about a mute girl, and I really loved it, and I would love to read it again just to see how I feel about it now that it's calmed down a bit and I know what happens. I'd love to reread it again so I can see where the hints are because it's also a mystery book, and I just really want to reread it because I know for a fact that I loved it. Next is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and again this is the same reason for A Legion and New Moon. Last year I reread the first three books in the Harry Potter series and stopped at the fourth book, so I need to read this one and continue so I can reread the entire series so I can get a better opinion of it and a more educated view of it because yes I've read it before and I didn't really connect with it. I reread the first three books last year again and kind of really liked them but they don't stick with me so Let's just keep going and see how I feel and then you can't say I haven't tried. And this last one may come as a shock to you because it comes as a shock to me as well but I'm going to be rereading A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. So yes I put this in the book series I'm never gonna finish because of this book. I DNF'd it. That's, let's see because of the spine cracked at this page. Page 204 which is chapter 19. It's even cracked there because I kept opening it trying to read it and it just didn't happen so I didn't ever continue it because I wasn't agreeing with what the book premise was. That was because I had Akhtar in my head so much that I just didn't want the events of this book to happen because it kind of goes against what Akhtar is all about. And now that Akhtar is in my head but quite far back because I haven't reread it since or like really done anything with the fandom since, I'm going to try to read A Court, a court of Mist and Fury with a new mind, an opener mind, and see if I enjoy it a bit more, because I've heard that these books get amazing, I just don't want to read them because I like Akhtar so much. Akhtar is kind of backgrounded in my head now, and I'm going to give this another shot and see if I enjoy it. Those are the 20 books that are on my immediate TBR for the year. I've already read one of them so I feel very accomplished. Yeah, that was my 2019 TBR. Let me know what books that you are hoping to get through this year, if you have a yearly TBR or just a few books that you'd like to read soon, in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you next Thursday for another video. Bye.